wake up. It's already 6 a.m. Wake up, Alex. Sleepyhead. Is it? Ugh. Feels like I just closed my eyes. Just five more minutes. Every time. Come on. We plan to jog before breakfast, remember? Oh, that's right. That morning exercise thing. It's still dark out. <laughs> It's the perfect time to jog. Fresh air, peaceful streets. You'll feel so refreshed. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. Let me grab my shoes. That's the spirit. And guess what? I'll make us a nice breakfast when we're back. Deal. But if I'm exhausted afterward, you're giving me a hearty meal. It's a promise. Let's get this day started right. You've got a lot of energy for someone who's just woken up. All right, let's go. Exercise. You know, this morning jog feels great. Let's do some stretches too. Stretches? Here in the park? Why not? I saw a group exercising here last week. It looked fun. Well, I've never really done group exercises before. There's always a first time. Look, there's Ryan. He always knows good exercises. Hey, Ryan. Mind if we join you for some exercise routines? The more, the merrier. We're about to start some simple core workouts. Perfect for beginners. Sounds great. Let's get started. With both of you here, this is going to be even more fun. Let's make this a routine. Morning jogs and exercises with friends. Absolutely. I've always believed working out with friends motivates you more. Agreed. So what exercises do we have for today, Ryan? We're going to start with some planks and squats. Then we'll move to some light cardio. Sounds like a plan. I'm ready to get my sweat on. Prepare the breakfast. Woo! So tired. Remember to make breakfast as promised. Okay, okay. Let me help you. How about scrambled eggs and toast? Sounds good? Delicious. Maybe we can add mushrooms and spinach to the eggs. Great idea. Check the fridge. I think we might have some. Found them. Also, there are some ripe tomatoes. How about adding those? Perfect. You handle the toast and I'll whip up the eggs? Deal. And for drinks, coffee or orange juice? Coffee, definitely. Can't start my day without it. Same here. I'll get the coffee machine started. By the way, where's the milk? It should be in the fridge. How about adding some cheese to the eggs? Cheesy scrambled eggs? I'm in. Let's make breakfast amazing today. I saw some strawberries earlier. Maybe a small fruit salad on the side? Sounds perfect. With both of us working together, breakfast will be fantastic. Go to the office. Ah, uh, I can't find my left shoe. I swear it was right here last night. You mean this one? It was under the couch. Bella must have played with it. That cat. Thanks, Alex. Oh, no. I forgot to charge my phone. No worries. Take my power bank. Just don't lose it. It's a new one. Promise I won't. 
Oh, shoot. We missed our usual bus. Well, we could take the train. It's a bit longer, but at least we'd be moving. That's a good plan. It's been ages since we took the train. Might be a nice change. Oh, speaking of change, I think the office moved our desks while we were away. Said something about better lighting or improving work environment. What? I had everything perfectly organized. Well, at least we get better lighting. I was tired of that flickering overhead bulb. Always trying to find the silver lining, aren't you? But yeah, better lighting is a plus. Remember when you tried to replace the bulb yourself and set off the fire alarm? Haha, <laughs> let's not bring up that embarrassing moment. At least I tried. Indeed you did. Let's hope our day at the office goes smoothly after this slightly chaotic morning. Making complaints. Samantha, have you used the new printing machine on the third floor? Yes, I did. Tried printing a report this morning. Why do you ask? I've been struggling with it all day. It keeps jamming and the colors are off. I thought it might just be me not understanding the instructions. No, it's not just you. The instructions aren't clear at all. And did you notice the weird noise it makes? Yes, it sounds like it's going to break any minute. I was thinking of making a complaint to the IT department. We can't keep dealing with these issues. Absolutely. I was speaking to Mark and Tina earlier, and they've had similar issues too. We should collectively raise this. I think so too. Maybe we should have a small meeting with everyone who's faced problems and document all of the issues before taking it to IT. That's a good plan. If we list out all the issues, IT can't ignore it and we might get a better, more efficient machine. I create Jessica's membership for daily English practice. Perfect for busy schedules, Jessica provides a fun, quick way to improve your English. Get corrections, find practice partners, and enjoy unlimited lessons and creative content. Made English easy with Jessica. Join us now! Meeting Room Hey, Chloe, did you reserve the meeting room for our 3 p.m. presentation? Oh, no. I thought you were taking care of it. Let me quickly check if it's available. Please do. It's crucial we have that room, especially with the tech setup we need. The system shows it's free. I'll reserve it now. Whew, we dodged a bullet there. Thanks, Chloe. And did you get the presentation slides from Mark? I did, but there were a few edits. I'll finalize them on the way to the meeting room. Oh, Chloe, before I forget, do you have the remote for the projector? It's in my drawer. I'll grab it before we go. By the way, did you talk to Sarah about joining us for the meeting? Yes, she said she'll be there. She had some feedback after reviewing the draft. Great. It's always good to have another perspective. Let's make this presentation the best one yet. Totally agree. Oh, and Chloe, I was thinking we should bring some snacks and drinks for the team. It's a long presentation, and it'll keep everyone energized. That's thoughtful of you, Alex. I'll grab some from the cafeteria. Let's give our team the best experience. With you leading, I have no doubts. See you in the meeting room. What do we eat for lunch today? Hey everyone, 
I'm craving fast food for lunch today. Any recommendations? How about that new burger place down the street? I've heard their fries are legendary. I'm in the mood for some tacos. There's that Mexican fast food joint nearby. Oh, I've been there. Their burritos are massive and super tasty. If we're talking fast food, I've been wanting to try the fried chicken from Chicky Delight. It's just around the corner. I'm torn now. Everything sounds so good. But maybe we could get a mix. Some burgers, tacos, and fried chicken. That's a brilliant idea. We can have a mini feast right at the office. Count me in. I'll handle the burgers. Jenny, do you want to grab the tacos and Kevin can get the chicken? Sounds like a plan. Let's meet back here in 30 minutes. Lunch is going to be amazing today. Wow, look at this spread. I think we might have gone a bit overboard. No such thing as too much food. Let's dive in. This burger is so juicy and the sauce is amazing. I'm loving these tacos. The filling is so fresh. Brian, you chose well. And this chicken, oh my goodness. It's crispy on the outside and tender inside. Perfect choice, Kevin. Thanks. I've been a fan of Chicky Delight for a while. Their secret seasoning is just something else. We should definitely do this more often. Mixing different fast foods is such a treat. Absolutely. And maybe next time we can add some pizzas and sandwiches to the mix. Sounds like a plan. Cheers to more fun lunches together. Tea break. Phew, these reports are taking forever. Anyone up for a tea break? Count me in. I've been eyeing the new tea flavors in the pantry. I heard the chamomile tea is really soothing. I could use some of that right now. Chamomile's great, but have you tried the ginger tea? It's got a real kick to it. Perfect for waking you up. I haven't, but that sounds intriguing. I'll have a cup of that. Speaking of new flavors, there's also a lemon tea in there. Super refreshing and just the right amount of tang. Lemon tea? That's exactly what I need. Something to perk me up for the rest of the afternoon. You know what would go great with that tea? Some of those biscuits from the bakery across the street. Should I grab some? That's a brilliant idea, Ethan. Those biscuits would be perfect right now. I'll chip in for them. Thanks, Nicole. All right, let me grab those and we can all enjoy a proper tea break together. Shopping list. Hi, Mom. I'm about to finish up at work. I'll be home soon. Oh, Jenny. Before you come home, can you stop by the supermarket? We need a few things. Of course, Mom. Do you have a list? Yes. We need some vegetables, chicken, bread, and milk. Oh, and don't forget some fruit for your dad. He loves those apples. Got it. Vegetables, chicken, bread, milk, and apples. Anything else, Mom? Hmm. Maybe grab some eggs and cheese. And if they have any of those chocolate chip cookies on sale, get a pack. You know how much your brother loves them. All right. Eggs, cheese, and possibly cookies. I'll make sure to get everything. See you in a bit. Thanks, dear. Be safe and don't rush. 
Remember to check the expiry dates, especially on the milk and eggs. All right, let's see. Vegetables first. Oh, those tomatoes look fresh. I'll grab a few. There are the apples. These red ones look delicious. Now, where's the chicken section? Perfect. They have organic chicken on sale. Mom would love that. Next, bread and milk. I always forget where they keep the bread. Ah, there it is. And the milk. Let's check the date. Okay, this one is fresh. Now for the eggs. Oh, hey, there's Sarah from HR. Maybe I should say hi after grabbing the cheese. Cheese, check. Eggs, check. Now, where are those cookies? Ah, there they are, on sale, just like Mom said. Perfect, that should be everything. Time to head to the checkout. Jenny, over here. How's it going? Haven't seen you in ages. Hey, Sarah. I'm good. Just grabbing some things for dinner. It's been so long. We should catch up soon. Absolutely. Let's plan something. Have a great evening and enjoy your shopping. Thanks, Sarah. You too. Take care. Romantic Date Hey, Jenny, you know what? How about we go for a late night date? Just the two of us. Oh, Alex, that sounds lovely. I could use a drink after today. Great. Let's head to that cozy bar downtown. They have the best cocktails. Sounds perfect. Let me just change real quick. Here we are. I love the ambience of this place. It's always so calming. Absolutely. So, tell me, how was your day at the company? Anything interesting? Oh, it was just the usual. Meetings, paperwork. But Sarah from HR and I had a fun chat at the supermarket. How about you? Well, there's a new project coming up and I might be leading it. Exciting times ahead. That's fantastic, Alex. I'm so proud of you. Cheers to that. Speaking of exciting times, our second wedding anniversary is coming up. Have you thought about how we should celebrate? I've been thinking about it. Maybe a weekend getaway? Just you, me, and a serene beach? Oh, that sounds like a dream. Let's do it. And maybe a romantic dinner on the beach? Perfect. I can't wait. Now, how about another drink? Chat with friends. Jenny! Alex! It's been too long! How've you both been? Hey, Taylor. We've been doing well. Just the usual work and home routine. Same here. Work has been quite busy lately, especially with all the new projects coming in. By the way, Jenny, I tried that pasta recipe you posted last week. It was amazing. Really? That's great to hear. Alex loved it too. I'm trying to experiment with some more international dishes lately. Speaking of international dishes, have you tried that new Thai place downtown? Their food is fantastic. Not yet, but I've heard so much about it. Let's plan a day and go together. Sounds like a plan. Jenny and I have been looking for new places to try out. Great. We should catch up more often. It's always so much fun chatting with you both. 
Absolutely. We've missed these little hangouts. Let's make it a point to meet more often. Deal. Now, have you both heard about the latest movie that just came out? We should definitely go watch it together. Skincare. Jenny. OMG, Jenny. This is an emergency. A huge emergency. Lisa? What happened? Did you lose the presentation files? Is the office on fire? Worse, way worse. There's this... this thing on my forehead. It's enormous. I look like a unicorn, Jenny. A uh, unicorn? What are you talking about, Lisa? This pimple, Jenny. A massive mountain-like pimple. I can't present looking like this. What will everyone think? Oh, is that all? Lisa, take a deep breath. It's just a pimple. I thought something really serious happened, the way you were panicking. Just a pimple, Jenny. This thing could have its own zip code. What do I do? Lisa, trust me, it's not as noticeable as you think. Clean the area, maybe apply some tea tree oil, and remember to stay relaxed. Stress only makes it worse. And seriously, People will focus on your presentation, not a minor imperfection on your face. Watching film. Jenny, have you watched The Timeless Voyage? I've heard it's an amazing romantic drama. No, I haven't. My coworker said it's a tearjerker. They cried a river watching it. Oh, you know I'm a sucker for those kinds of movies. Let's watch it tonight. I'll get the popcorn ready. Sounds like a plan. But let me warn you, if you cry, I'm taking a photo as evidence. Challenge accepted. And if you cry first, I get to choose the next movie we watch. Deal. And by the way, I've got that new chocolate ice cream in the freezer. Perfect for a movie night, don't you think? You really know how to sweeten the deal, Jenny. I'm so looking forward to tonight. Same here. Okay, I'll get the blankets and you set up the film. Let's make this a memorable movie night. Deal. And if the film is too sad, we can always switch to that comedy you've been wanting to watch. We have the whole night. Sounds perfect. Movie nights with you are always the best. Go to sleep. Wow, today felt like such a long day. The meeting today drained me. Well, at least we have this comfy bed to rest in. I can't wait to dive into it. True. But before that, did you brush your teeth and wash your face? Of course. Mom's skincare routine teachings never leave me. But I forgot to set the alarm for tomorrow. Can you do that, please? Sure thing. What time do you need to be up? Around 7 a.m., I have that early meeting with Lisa from HR. Got it. Alarm set for 7 a.m. And I'll set mine for 7.05 a.m., just in case the first one doesn't wake you up. Thanks, Alex. You always have my back. Always. Now, turn off the lights. Let's get some shut-eye. Good night, Alex. Sweet dreams. Good night, Jenny. See you in the morning. Nightmare. Oh my god. That was... That was terrifying. Jenny? Jenny, are you okay? What happened? 
I had this awful nightmare, Alex. I was trapped in a dark maze, and no matter which way I turned, I couldn't find a way out. It felt so real. Oh, honey, it's just a dream. Everything's fine. I'm here with you. I know, but it felt so vivid. Like, there were these shadows, and they were chasing me. And then I heard this eerie whisper saying I'd never escape. Nightmares can be pretty unsettling. But remember, it's just your subconscious mind playing tricks. Maybe there's some stress or unresolved issues that you've been thinking about. Maybe. Work has been a bit overwhelming lately. And with our anniversary coming up, I want everything to be perfect. Don't worry too much. We'll make it special, no matter what. And if you ever have another nightmare, just wake me up. I'm here for you. Thanks, Alex. Just talking about it makes me feel better. Let's try to get some sleep. Of course. Good night, Jenny. No more nightmares, okay? I especially like his blue eyes. Who was the person who went with you to the library yesterday? Ah, my cousin. His name is Eric. He is really handsome. Yeah, he's one of the hottest guys in his school. Yeah, I can guess that. I especially <laughs> like his blue eyes. Right? I was also impressed by his eyes. They're beautiful. Do you want to make friends with him? He's also friendly and humorous. That's great. Do you have time tomorrow? We can go to the cafe together. I'm free tomorrow. Okay, so we will meet at 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, the cafe shop that we usually visit, right? That's right. See you tomorrow. I need to enroll him at a good preschool. What are you searching for? I'm looking for some famous preschools around here. Ah, Jack is about to go to preschool, right? That's right. I need to enroll him in a good preschool. Oh, I'm not sure if preschool is that important. Preschool is where children begin to learn. I attach great importance to the education of my children. You are a good mother. I just want to bring the best education to my child. Next year, my daughter also goes to preschool. I found some great schools. I will suggest them to you if they're good. That's great. Thank you. No problem. Don't cut your hair. The weather is so hot. Mom, I want to cut my hair. No, Anna, don't cut your hair. Why not, Mom? My friends have short hair. They're all beautiful. But your long hair is great, too. Really? Of course. I love your long hair. It is soft and very suitable for you. But long hair in summer weather is very uncomfortable. You can tie your hair up. It will be much better. Okay, maybe you're right. It takes such a long time to have this hair. That's true. You know, others are jealous of your hair because it's naturally beautiful. Right, I haven't dyed or curled it before. I know. There's a basketball court near our house. How was your basketball game today? Not good, Dad. We lost. Oh, it's okay. In sports, winning and losing is normal. I know, but we didn't play well. Then practice is the key. I used to be very good at basketball, too. So, Dad, let's play basketball together. Sure, that will be fun. 
There's a basketball court near our house. That's good. After my work in your school, let's go there to practice. That's great. I think I will learn a lot from you. I hope you can win next time. I will try my best to win. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.